Hi, my name is Marilyn Day. I'm an instructional designer, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek behind the scenes with Evolve. So Evolve is an e-learning tool that I use every day on the job, um, and I very much enjoy using it. There is a bit of a learning curve, so hopefully this will take away some of that uh, initial fear in giving it a try and diving in and playing around with it. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing to know about Evolve is the building blocks. So when you have a course in Evolve, it's going to look like my screen here looks, um, where you basically see here is your page. This is your article. This is a block. And then within the block, you have your components. So one more time, you've got your page. Articles nest within pages, blocks nest within articles, and components nest within blocks. So that's essentially what you need to know to dive in and get started. Components are where you're going to put most of your information. Um, with the components in Evolve, a lot of them are very similar to Rise. So let's actually take a look. Um, so there's a couple of ways you can preview the content while you're working on it. You can toggle this quick preview on and off, and that's going to show you right in your main window exactly what it looks like. Um, or what I usually like to do is if you hit this play button, you're going to get a new tab with a live preview. So I usually like to have this open on one screen um, and then have the actual uh, back end open on another screen. So let's take a look at what this course looks like. Um, and I will put a link for this course so you can play around with this later. Um, but here's some examples of components. So you'll notice some of these are very similar to RISE. You've got your text, you've got your accordions, um, you've got a media grid, which lets you mix some photos along with the videos. So you can have uh, both options there. Um, they have carousels, which is a great feature for kind of paging through. And then another great feature about Evolve is the ability to have a different photo when you click to enlarge. So if you have a higher quality image, a larger image that you want people to really be able to zoom in on, um, you can have a lower res one on the main page and have them click into that, that main one. Uh, dialogue is one of my favorite components. You can do a lot of fun things with this just to give you a taste of what it looks like. Um, you can have the text slide in from the right, from the left. You can have avatars there or icons. Um, and then, of course, you've got your questions to test knowledge. Um, so I got that one wrong, wasn't reading it. <laughs> um, but you can have a lot of customization for how you can set up your questions and where you can put them throughout the course. You can interweave them or you can have them all on one page. That is totally up to you. Um, so we, as you, you'll notice, there's a lot of similarities between Evolve and Rise. I think one of the biggest differences is with Rise, you can go ahead and switch. So if I create uh, an accordion and I want it to be tabs, I can just toggle that back and forth. Um, so with Evolve, you can't do that, unfortunately. Um, so you just need to know what you want this to look like. Um, and that's going to save you a lot of time if you would know, okay, you do want an accordion. Um, let's dig in and see, you know, what this accordion looks like. Here's the items that you can add, um, the item title, the text that you want when people click on it, and you can add images in here as well. So what you lose in that flexibility of Rise, you make up with the customization for how nuanced you can get with Evolve. So I want to take a deep dive here with you into the text and graphic components. You can see what it looks like. Um, so this is how I've got this laid out at the moment. You can see these images are the same size, um, but Evolve will scale them depending on um, how big you have the window. Um, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Scroll down here. So here we have, again, the article is this deep dive, my block, and then my block houses the text and graphic component. Um, here's where I've got my intro text, the body. 
Um, and apparently I misspelled components. Oh, no, nope, it wants to make it plural. Um, <laughs> so um, let me turn this off and do that again. All right, so I've got my article, which is deep dive, text and graphic, my block, and then my component of the text and graphic. So what this allows you to do is to kind of mix and match, um, and it gives you a lot of customization over the layout. So let's just take a quick look at what is um, what each of these components are. And you can navigate this right side of evolve by going down this drop down list or you can just start at general and then arrow your way through each of the sections. Um, so this title is for your internal use and that's going to come in really handy when you get into advanced features like logic um, but for now just know you can name your um, components anything that will help you know what it is. Um, this display title, that's what's going to be displayed to the learner. So you can see if I toggle my quick preview on. Um, right now I'm using this title at the article level. So if I added this extra title, it's going to be a smaller bit of a header. Um, so you can, again, you've got a lot of flexibility with what, uh, what information you have there. And then this body text is the sentence that shows up right here. Um, you can also add instruction text. Um, let's say I turn on the light boxes. I click the images to enlarge and you can set up that text to look different than your main text. You can make it bold or italic or just something so that learners know, hey, these are instructions. So that's really nice that it gives you that distinction. Um, and then there's a lot for accessibility. So um, if you are using screen readers or if you know your audience is going to, you can add in um, labels for accessibility. And then you can also add tags for yourself, um, especially if you're maybe doing a lot of courses and need to organize your content. So that's all in the general. Um, Looking at the items, here is where uh, each of these items live. So with this item one, you can see I've just added some dummy text here um, with the image. And then I've got my alt text. Um, here's where you can toggle on and off the light box, right? So then now I can click to enlarge that. Um, or you can do a magnifier, which just kind of you know, wherever you hover your mouse makes the image larger. Um, so here's where you can change the, the layout of the image. So I can put this on top of the text, um, then it becomes full screen. I can put this to the right of the text. When you've got it to the side, then you can determine how wide you want it. We can put this at 70, we can put this at 50, or we can put this at 30. Um, if you want to put graphic um, text or if you want to enable graphic text, your text will be actually on your graphic. So um, you'd have to place it, you know, give it a nice color and plan for that. Um, so let's just turn that off for right now. Um, so you'll see the same thing with item two. I've just got a different image. And then this item three is just text. So again, the great thing is you can mix and match. But let's go ahead and add in a third image here. Um, and I've got one ready to go that I've already uploaded. Um, and then let's take a look at what the column view looks like. So this is just a, a layout that we have, but you can also turn on your columns. And I can put um, that I want three items in the columns. Now, again, know what you want this to look like ahead of time, because you'll notice that that image that I just added to item three is gone. And that's because um, now it's in a different layout. So that there are some um, quirks of Evolve, I'll say, uh, that once you know what they are and how to work around them, um, you can change it. So now we've got three beautiful columns um, with all the images on top of the, the titles and descriptions. And then again, you can change um, 
change this if you wanted it to look different or maybe you want it to look really small. Totally up to you with that flexibility. Um, you can add some icons. All right, and then you can do some additional styling in terms of spacing and font. Um, we'll leave that be for now. Um, but I wanted to show you animations. So this is another fun uh, feature of Evolve. So you can have um, add a simple animation where these are all sliding in. Let's put this on slow. And then if we pop this over to our live preview, Hopefully we'll be able to see what that looks like. Um, back to the main menu. And then let me jump down to, you can see that animation as everything slides in. So it just adds a little bit of visual interest. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this peek behind the, the hood of Evolve. If you have any questions, you are more than welcome to reach out to me. Marilyn Day you can find me on LinkedIn. Um, and Thank you for listening.